Hey guys, so in this video we are gonna be looking at this algorithm known as CBOOK Rate of Change. So this is an algorithm to find like prime numbers in certain range. So suppose you have to find prime numbers from 1 till n. Let us say n be 10. Okay, so we can say that prime numbers are 2, 3, 5 and 7, right? So this uh, there can be certain method of finding these numbers, but CBO Firetos things is quite a good method and has a very good time complexity as compared to the brute force approach. So most of the time in competitive programming, you will get uh, some kind of questions where uh, there won't be the direct implementation of CBO Firetos things, but you have to figure it out how you can. Uh, how you can make this algorithm work for that question you have to figure it out but this is quite a good idea for finding prime numbers in certain range with a time complexity of n log log of n okay so this is the time complexity now we will look what is the idea behind this algorithm uh see what themes so let me raise this okay so let us see the idea so suppose we are given n is equal to 10 and we have to find numbers between 1 and 10 okay this is the problem prime numbers so prime numbers we have to find okay so what co virato things does is it sets 1 as known prime initially 1 and 0 as known prime because they are not prime and from 2 we will start our checking so 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so now let me change the color and yeah so what the idea is uh, we are going to be starting from this point 2 and we will mark it if it is not prime uh, so yeah we can say is prime let us say is prime is an array of type boolean so initially it is false initially we have everything as false that means everything is not prime so what we does is we go to a uh, position inside this array first position and we if uh, if it is not prime initially so what we will do it we will mark it as prime ok so we will mark it as prime so let me make it true that will be more better so initially we are saying every number is prime and then we go to a position if it is prime then we can what we can do is we can cancel all of its factor what do i mean by that is if we have 2 then we do 2 we go to its square 2 into 2 which is 4 so we will go here and we will mark it false so we will mark it as false inside this is primary okay so this is what the idea is and then we will go to we will add 2 and we will go to 6, we will add 2 again, we will go to 8, we will add 10, uh, 2 again, 10 and these all will be marked as non prime. Ok, so now we are done with this. So what we can do next? So let us see. So next uh, we are at 3. Now one thing what we can do is while cancelling all of its factor, we can go for like 3 into 2 is 6. But here you can see 6 is already marked by 2 okay so what you can do a better way of this is uh, you can go to its square rather than going to its means having all those multiple before its square because before its square whichever multiple is there it will be cancelled or made false by the by the number smaller than this so 2 will mark it as false so what we can do is we can directly go to the square and then we can start marking it as false so for 3 we will uh, go 3 into 3 which is 9 so we will mark 9 as false ok so now we will go to 4 but 4 is already false so we won't do anything and now we go to 5 so what we will do in case of 5 we will come to it 5 square so remember again we are not doing 5 into 2 and this not this we are going for 5 into 5 the reason behind this is Every other number uh, less than this would be marked by some other number if it is non-prime. So 
pen as we can see is already marked by some other drone type okay so this is the idea of see of the data things and the time complexity of this algorithm is o of m log log of m which is very good time complexity because it is kind of a linear and we have just this factor which is very very small okay so this is the idea i won't go into the time complexity proof because you can look it up on wikipedia or something that is not of our matter so let us look at the implementation of this algorithm in c++ okay okay so this is the implementation right here let me start explaining it to you okay so let me open the sketch pad the screen sketch right so we'll start uh, to look at this function main so we have a number n so we are not making it any range like n and m we are uh, for simplicity we are saying from 1 to n we are going to be marking it prime or non prime okay so what we do is we take the input from the user and pass it to a function called prime c so here is a function prime c which doesn't return anything and takes a parameter of n so let us look at it so we have a is prime which we are which i was talking in the example i gave you so is prime is going to be n plus 1 because for 1 2 3 up to uh, uh, let us say 10 so we want to check 10 whether it is prime or not so we are making it plus 1 because r is our zero based index so we have to do plus 1 there okay so you get the idea because 10 n is uh, so whenever we are finding like this n is also inclusive this is also inclusive right okay so uh, prime for 0 and 1 we are marking it as false we are starting our for loop now so we are starting our for loop from i is equal to 2 up till i into i is less than equal to n so this is another optimization the reason for this is uh, for any prime uh, for any number you will have one of its factor which is there will be one of the factor which is less than or equal to the square root of that number okay so what i mean by that is there will be a factor x which we uh, which will be less than or equal to square root of that number if that number is non prime if that number is prime uh, prime there won't be any factor so we are uh, optimizing this for checking up to square root of n okay now we are checking this if is prime that means if it is already marked as prime then we will continue otherwise we will uh, jump over to the next iteration because if uh, initially it is already marked as non prime no need to cancel its multiples because its multiple will be cancelled by some other number which is prime and less than that okay so now here we are going to do this i into i uh, like we i said like for 2 3 and so on for 3 we are not going to do 3 into 2 6 that is not optimized so we'll do 3 into 3 which is 9 and we'll mark 9 and then further we'll start marking and we'll mark till j is less than or equal to n and the addition will be j plus equal to i so what that means is j is equal to j plus i so for example i was 3 so j will be equal to first what 3 into 3 which is 9 and for the next iteration what we will do 9 plus 3 so it will, it will mark 12 uh, 12 as this and then again 12 plus 3 so uh, it will mark 15 so this is how we are going to do the iteration and we'll start marking all those multiples as false because they have a multiple other than 1 and then okay so this is the part where we mark our make our uh, is prime boolean array and now what we are doing in this loop is simply printing if that number is prime then we are going to be printing its value so this what this will do is we it will print out the primes between 1 and n okay so let us run it and check it
okay so let me give a 10 put of 10 so 2 3 5 7 are the prime numbers okay so let me talk of a good use case of this algorithm so most of the time what will be uh, what you will be doing is if you have a constraint like 10 raised to power 9 like n is equal to 10 raised to power 9 so what you can do is you can call this sieve for 10 raised to power 5, uh, 9 once and prepare your is primary so you won't be having need to check like for you are checking for n equal to 1 then 2 and then and so on so what you can do is kind of a pre-processing so you can pre-process your is prime and then later on you can use it anywhere you want to use in that question so only once you will be running that function so make sure that uh, the constraints are well in the bound so because the time complexity is and log log n so you can't go for 10 to power 9 and if the constraints are like 10 to power 6 or something you can run this entire sieve for uh, entire sieve and prepare your is primary you can make the, uh, this is primary as global so you can access it anywhere in your code uh, so this is more of preferable method in the questions so this was all about this video if you have any doubt you can comment in the comment section or do like the video and subscribe the channel and yeah if you have any video suggestions on any topic uh, even other than competitive programming like development stuff, uh, web development or anything, Android development, then do comment in the comment section if uh, there are enough number of people who want a certain course, I'll do make the video for them. And yeah, thank you for watching this video.